Hello, I'm Safira Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to this month's challenge video. This month I've decided to do something very similar to both my tea and coffee challenge and do the pumpkin spice latte challenge. Now as you know this drink comes out around about the autumn time and it's possibly one of my more favourite drinks. It is a very sweet drink from Starbucks and I know other stores do um, contain the syrup as well and you can actually get the syrup yourself which I found out the other day and I was like oh my gosh I really want to try. So I got myself the smallest pumpkin latte from uh, Starbucks. I drank most of it, I kept a little bit for myself just so that I could uh, make sure I had enough to paint with. Um, very similar to the coffee challenge, it just is all about layering, taking your time with it and really just um, waiting and having enough patience for everything to dry. I think in the end I ended up bringing out my hair dryer just so that I could actually get through the layers quick enough to get, make sure everything dried. Now, the thing I noticed was this was very sticky after it had dried. Um, I think with the syrup in the coffee, because there is so much sugar content in it, um, it just ended up making the piece very sticky overall and it was not a massively pleasant experience, but it was fun to paint with nevertheless. I think what I like about painting with tea, coffee and um, with any other drinks is that it's unconventional and it's not something that you would normally do. You'd normally drink a drink, you wouldn't actually just paint with it. Um, and it does give you a very interesting tonal range. It is very similar to the coffee challenge. I did find that this was um, much easier to work with. Maybe it was because there was so much sugar in the content that it was less viscous. It wasn't as um, watery, um, that it just, it was easier to blend with. It did take a while for me to get some different colorization in between all the layers while I was waiting for stuff to dry. Um, but overall this piece didn't take too long to do. I think overall it was just under an hour-ish. Um, if you don't include drawing times. If you guys want to take part in something like this, I do highly recommend it. Maybe try a different beverage. What coffee would you choose? In fact, there'll be a poll at the top. What kind of um, syrupy drink or flavoured coffee would you choose to paint with? Or is there anything else that you would like to see me do? Um, I chose to do the pumpkin spice latte challenge because this drink only comes out during the autumn period and I thought it would be fun and fit in with my Halloween theme. I did think to myself, how am I going to fit in a Halloween challenge? Because I did the Halloween ink challenge uh, last year uh, using only Halloween -y colours and using inks to tie in with Inktober. And it was um, interesting to say the least. Um, and I really enjoyed doing that. But since I already am doing Inktober this year and I've got other projects that I've been working on as well, I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different, so painting uh, with tea, something that I've already done, so I thought why not choose a Halloween drink. Um, there is quite a few that I could have chosen, but I thought I'd go with the most popular, which is the pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> I think if I was to do this challenge again, I would probably do a lot more white areas. In the end, I ended up using some white gel pen just to lift up a few areas, just to make some areas a little bit lighter, that have gone a little bit too dark. Um, in case what you're wondering what paper I'm using, I am using Dale Rowney Aquarelle. This is the cold press, not the hot press, because cold press um, has a lot of water in it already, and I'm more used to cold press than hot press. Um, I find that I'm better at layering, whereas hot press can take quite a while for me to layer, but you do get vibrant colours off both. I don't know, I'm not a massive person on watercolours, I'm still learning a lot about it, so if any of that information is wrong, you can correct me in the comments down below, I completely understand. So what challenge would you guys like to see me do next? I have done a plethora of different types of challenges and if you have not checked out there will be a playlist that's going to pop up in the top right hand corner where you can totally check out to see what other challenges I have done. I do challenge videos every single month because I think it's good to challenge yourself to do something unconventional and fun and this was something unconventional and it was very fun. 
If you're wondering what equipment I've used, I'll list them down below as always. Um, I pretty much just used my uh, the tea, I used some cheap paint brushes, that's the thing as well if you're going to do this challenge. Um, make sure that you use cheaper paint brushes because you, the paint brushes can end up quite sticky and you don't want to ruin your really good paint brushes so make sure you use your not so good paint brushes on this. Um, I also used a Pentel and, uh, yeah, Pentel gel pen and Uniball gel pen and I'll list them all down below so you can check it out. So there's a few final looks of the overall illustration. Overall I'm quite happy with this and this will be a print at London Comic Con next month and after London Comic Con I will uh, put the prints up on the store as well to go with the coffee and the tea challenge. I hope you guys really have enjoyed this video. Maybe like, comment and subscribe. But as always folks, stay creative.